Hey everybody, welcome back to Endless Space. We are on at the very end of turn one. I got Dalsu here with me. Hi, Dalsu. What's up, man? It took so long to get through that first turn, eh? It did. There's a lot to do in the first turn, though. You got to go through all these uh, setup screens here. Yeah, it's probably best if we, you know, recommend at some point. People who are a little bit familiar with the game should probably start on this episode rather than the first, because the first episode was largely just explaining how everything sort of fits together, and this is going to be more of an uh, in action kind of demonstration. Yeah, so what action are we going to do here? We're going to hit, hit in turn. Are we ready to go with that? Yep, once well, in the turn. We did everything we came to do. Well, now, what is this here that we're looking at? So we're 37. That's just the scoreboard, and um, it's not something that you should pay too too much attention to because, like I said, the, the AI cheats pretty heavily, or <laughs> okay. it did before. They just did a balance patch, so it's possible that it's more balanced now. But, yeah, that's going to just sort of show you where you stand. And is that it, like our points, our victory points? Yeah. It can give you a clue like if you're way, way behind, but okay. otherwise don't so put too much attention into it. We're pretty decent right now. Yeah. All well, right. nothing's happened yet, so everyone's kind of on the same playing field, mostly. Gotcha. All right, well, I'm in turn. Yep. And we'll see what happens. A probe might make it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. And we got a connection So you over actually here. have a, yeah, and you have a colonizable planet there with titanium, which is the thing that you don't have, which is great. Gas, ash, wow. This could be really good, like, late game. Tiny what is that? Oh, yeah, Mediterranean. Mediterranean. That's the one. That's colonizable want... right now. Yeah. yeah, I would probably... Let's see, we sent the colony ship off in another direction. Uh, yeah, but he's issue. over here, though, so he can cut back across. Yeah, right? I mean, he does have eight moves. So here's what you can do is... Um, you see in the lower right-hand corner, right above the intern, there's a little... Yeah, right click here? that. Okay. That'll make him... Like all your ships, in fact, move to where they're going. Okay, click on Regal. It's an incredibly large system. It's, uh, five planets. Gas. So we got a savanna got over desert, here. Desert, lava, gas, arid, savanna. Yeah, this will be a great system for you. Um, and you'll and... be able to colonize it as soon as you get savanna. And you got ancient race. Yeah, so plus four dust per person on the planet. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a great system, especially like for production late game. You'll have that lot uh medium gas burning planet yeah so you're gonna want to secure that um in fact i don't know zoom out again how far like a little bit more a little bit more so we can get sort of a oh, strategic view okay uh so i we don't shouldn't know have to worry about grabbing this one right now right we should grab rigel and that'll think be on so. the side. um because it doesn't have any lanes mm. so it's worth considering maybe leaving your colony ship on Regal and grabbing that Savannah planet mm -hmm. as soon as you can. Okay. Uh, is because it worth, I'm sorry. Is it, is it worth taking it out here and bringing it back? Maybe just so we can see what that is. It might be because um, we're not going to have this that, for a couple turns, right? Uh, two turns. <clears throat> so how many moves do you have left on your ship? Uh, how do I know that? Do I look at we it could, here? Yeah, you only have one. One. It'd probably take you. Uh, another whole another turn to get there, and a whole another turn to get back. So it might delay your settling by one turn. I'd say, just just guessing. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's really worth it. Okay. Uh, I'm worried there could be an AI somewhere over there, and he regal. So seeing as how it's an awesome, uh, well, I don't know. Zane is also very awesome. It might be better for you to start off on. Okay. But the fact, like you said, where it's positioned means it's probably safer for for a few turns longer than this one. Okay. All right. Makes I don't sense. know. That um, makes sense. It's, it's a tough choice. I, I like the fact that there's titanium. There's also five planets. Look at that. Let's look more closely at the Mediterranean planet. Over here? Yeah. Click on it. Okay. And let me uh, let me just say something to people mm -hmm. watching right now. We got we, we've been trying out Skype and Discord and a bunch of other ways of doing this, and unfortunately, we're having some some like uh, problems with the audio. So hopefully, you guys can can bear with that. We'll we'll try to get it worked out better next time. Okay. So here's the Mediterranean. Should I click on it or like just? Uh, you don't over? need to click on. It. Just hover over the actual planet. Ooh, yeah. Six okay. Foot, so seven six, production. Seven, three, and no science, but um, and it's hot. Okay. I mean, there's that, or there's the Savannah planet. So, I, so go look at the Savannah planet. It's probably okay. going to have more, more science and less production. I'm thinking. 
Yeah, it's got a little bit of science there, so let's see. Can I roll over well, that? It won't give you a readout because you don't have the tech. Oh, no, no, it will. Okay. There we go. So it's slightly better for science. The production sucks, but it's got more dust. And we got dust uh, production because of that anomaly thing, the ruins yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that's a pretty tough choice, man. I could go either way on this. Well, I, I kinda, like this. I'd kind of say grabbing this one, I mean, yeah. at least for colonization, seems like that would be a good idea because this is... Position-wise, it's better. Uh, as far as uh, the, the long-term viability of the system, I don't know. The other one's... Gonna, you'll be able to grab the other one. We'll just have to we'll have to prioritize another colony ship. Okay. So you can actually just leave your colony ship there for two turns, and you should be good. Now, okay. um, it says that. Okay, never mind. Well, but okay, so I, I do have to uh, I do have to say that it seems like sending it out here and getting it back would be a good idea. It's going to take. I mean, it's not going to take. Yeah, I mean, it's got eight turns, so it's possible you might be able to get. Back. I mean, it'll delay by one turn. That's that's not such a big deal, I guess. Oh, no, I would like to, I'll go with your advice on it. I let's would see. like to know what's there, because uh, it could be it 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 might be a minor sieve is what I, my best guess would be just mm. based on experience. All right, well, what's your final? Are super useful. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Right. Let's let's live on the wild side a little bit. So he has one move left. Yeah, so he's not going to make it till next turn. Okay, but then the following there. turn he should be able to return. Okay, it'll work out. Cool. All right, um, your scout did not reach unfortunately the next system. So okay. there's nothing to see there. Um, All right. Is there anything to do? Not really. You can click on your planet if you want, just to see what's going on. Um, your guy, your hero is getting experience, which we're going to use to get more science. Um, you see that over is, here? Is that his experience? Yes, that's his little experience bar that goes around the circle there. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else you can do. You just you're just waiting for drone networks at this point. And how many points are we waiting for him to get before he levels up? Eight. Um. You know, I don't really. They just changed it. Uh, it used to be the experience rate was different, and it it changes too based on bonuses you can get and stuff like oh, okay. that. So I can't tell you exactly um, gotcha. what at what point he'll level up. It won't it won't take long though. All right, cool. So, so yeah, in turn or wait, uh, what's, what's that little here? notification over there just for just to be thorough? Law yeah. Okay. Canceled. So counseling. What law is that? I didn't even remember seeing that law in there. Me neither. Oh, Dirty Hands Act. Why did it? Why did it cancel? Go. Oh, you ran out of. You ran out of. Um. We had no. Go back no to impulse. the law menu. Yeah. So we can reenact that, right? Yeah, you can reenact it, but. I think it. Click on it. I think I think it's because we just had none and we didn't get seven until this turn. So. Ah, yeah, that's probably right. So they. Didn't so yeah, now now do it. Now do it because we had zero, right? That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I so guess we it, should it, be able to get it now ran the calculation before that's a good catch all right um so yeah you can end your turn there all right let's do that we should be able to get a few turns in this uh this episode hopefully how's the audio sounding now it sounds fine on my end it sounds better now yeah okay. we're doing a little good. bit of cutting out earlier we we'll have to good, figure good, good. out some other audio programs all right new turn so... yes should we do our ships go yeah okay all right so we got okay. two new systems wow, to look looks... at Looks like you got a colonizable system up top and down there. All right, well, let's take a look. So whichever one you want to look at first. This one has Hyperium, which is great. Ash Planet, good for production. Another Savannah. Savannah. Nice. Yeah, I got tons of Savannahs, so that was the perfect tech to get. And a Terran. Nice. Wow. And that's uh, colonizable right, right now, nice. right? Yeah, Terrans are very nice and well-balanced. I would prioritize that one as well. Ooh, but actually this, it says you need a colonization module to colonize. I guess you don't start out with... Wait no no okay so that's just saying your just scout does your scout doesn't have a colony module. I got you. I got yeah you. yeah. Okay so that's got eight food, three production, four dust, five science. That is pretty. Yeah good. and it's fertile and temperate so it gets a lot of the bonuses. And we get plus extra it's got science. Hyperion plus it's got something else on it. As a matter of fact, uh, click on your scout. Okay. Let's no actually don't click on your scout. Just click on the anomaly on the Terran planet and it should do it automatically. Okay there yeah. it goes. Let's see what we got over here. So we got some stuff. Blue cat, Blue cat mold. mold. Yeah, yeah. That's a luxury reason for those later, but they're definitely valuable. Blue cap's one of my favorites for so far. Yeah, this plus actually, four science. Nice. Yeah, this could be really big helping us snowball. This. We need that. So looking at the at the map now, it almost feels like we should colonize this and Rigel. I don't know about Bellatrix up here. Let's go see what we got over yeah, here. Yeah, let's see Bellatrix. Desert. desert. Unknown signal. Jungle. Jungle. 
you can colonize jungle now, huh? Yeah. So not a not a fantastic system. Um, I do see. like I do like where it's located, but yeah, I think you have to. Yeah, okay. So six five. Ooh, that's three, really one. good. That's not bad. Yeah, that's it's got Hyperium good. too. Yeah, I'd say go ahead and, and snag that one. It's a shit. It's a worse system. Yeah, but it doesn't matter right now because you're not going to be growing onto all the other planets anyway. Well, and it's at a crossroads, so we kind it of is control. At a crossroads. There could be an AI right over the horizon. Right. So should we grab it? Yeah, I would say I'd say let's grab it. Okay, so I just click that and we'll go. Yep. All right. Now this takes a long time, right? We got to send them food and stuff. Yeah, you got a nice little. I don't know if you played when they had all. They've got a different little video for every uh, type of planet that you can colonize. For, I think yeah. maybe that was one of the yeah. things that I, I kind of wish Stellaris had because we got to see, you know, like the little yeah. landing thing, but only once. Yeah. Really. So this is what we're gonna need to get it going here. We got to get. Um, I you, that one won't work because there's no other people trying to colonize. The money thing works very well, and so does the the influence. Both of those will speed it up. Okay, the money thing is, is better. Um, so what's going to start happening now? Just to give the sort of newbie players a little information here, you you can't just colonize everything and expand willy nilly. If you mm -hmm. get out of this, exit okay. out of this, and then you're going to go to your main planet. Okay. Down there. Um, is there a on, quick way to do that, or do I have to navigate? Uh, you can go to the little wreath, and like once you get a bunch of systems, you, know, oh, okay. you can sort them that way. Gotcha. But um, if you hover over your food, you'll notice it. Over here? Yeah. So oh, it's, it says negative 23 for outpost. Okay. So it's actually sending its food to your outpost to help right. it grow right. to 300. Gotcha. So if you were to colonize another planet now, you'd probably get negative food which would be sustainable for a little while especially because you're about to get drone networks which is plus 10 food but but it would run our pop growth here right because now it, we're at 27 instead of nine yeah we're not we're pretty much not growing at all while that's happening although okay. drone networks is going to make a big difference okay so that we've started building that and are we sending food to do this oh we haven't tried to call no, we haven't yet we've got okay. it on our queue in fact you probably want to it's down here because yeah. might we might accidentally... We don't want to build that next. No? So can't cancel it now. Okay. We definitely want public-private partnerships next. Okay. And why that's do we want be, that? Because it's going to give us a bunch of science? It's going to give us 20 science right off the bat, and then mm -hmm. another 30 science when we colonize um, by, by Sheris. As you can see from Hakim, you see the little pop, population slots there, right? Yeah, up, um, up you here? You see it's like on the actual planet, on our home planet. Okay. It's... So we still have a lot of room to grow. Right. Of course, they added something now, which is a pretty interesting mechanic, whereas that red line is. Yeah. So if you put people there, you start to get a slight uh, approval. Um, I see. So it's like an overpopulation limit. Yeah. And it's not huge, can alleviate it, maybe? What's that? Can text yeah. alleviate yeah, yeah. this? Text can alleviate pretty much everything in the game. So. Got you. Uh, but it doesn't matter right now. Like, you, you, you want to grow two or three more population mm -hmm. probably before you colonize that atoll. There's just too many important early game buildings to colonize that right now. Yeah, gotcha. It would be lovely to have, especially once we get private partnerships. And then also there's another tech that is plus 10 production to, um, in fact, that's the next tech we should get. Go to the uh, tech screen. We'll queue it up since we're about to finish this one. Yeah, and I was actually looking around at these. So I noticed that there are several that are like suggested, like this one will let us explore yeah. Hyperion. But and it also has a thinking of. Well, I think it was that one. It's the one with the building on it. Um, yeah, look at that building. Interplanetary transport. It's not that one. It's I think it's Xenolinguistics. One right above that. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Mega wow, they added plus ten for cold as well. Wow, they that's changed that. Pretty amazing. Yeah. That's really. How many people have that tech? Can we see? Uh, Just go. Right. Let's right. see. Yeah. Nobody has. So we should definitely queue that up next. Okay. Okay. So just click it. Just How click it. Have this. I just want to see who's got it. Yeah. Okay. One out of eight. So click yeah, okay. it, and that'll put it yeah, in queue. It'll queue up. So three turns it'll take after after we get this. Okay. And, now, how uh, quickly do we want to start exploiting Hyperion? Uh, Hyperion. Fairly quickly. Okay. It's definitely a priority. It's not. It, it's not as important as this building though. This building is going to give us instantly thirty, or no, twenty. Or no, because we're on a cold planet, and they added that. So it's like it's throwing off my measurements. But I got gotcha. you. Gives you plus ten for every planet, mm -hmm. plus ten more if you have cold planet, and I think we're also 
fertile. So plus yeah, 30 right off the bat, which is effectively going to double our production. Nice. So, you know, it's arguable that we should have researched that even beforehand, but, you know, we wanted to grab those Savannah planets, which are everywhere. So now let I me ask you, made, let me ask this. Right. This is a technology that we're getting and, and the result is a building that we can build on any planet that we own, but we have to build it specifically to get that effect in the system. Is that right? Your, your buildings are never on planets. System. All, all the buildings. They're system-wide. All of them are system-wide, yeah. I so. got you. A system-wide or, or, or empire-wide? Just system-wide, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. There are some empire-wide things, but... Is that like this thing? Or that's a D? That is, um... That's like basically an... an eh, it's hard to explain. It's like an achievement. Got it. You know, this game doesn't really have world wonders like Civ does. It kind of does have world wonders. But it mostly has feats, which are like things you can do. If you can do them faster than an AI, you get a certain bonus... Right. I never really mess with these things. Mm-hmm. Um, they, I, I think they may have tweaked them a bit. A lot of times it was way too much effort, <laughs> way too little reward. But right. So but if you do first, happen to get it though, you get a bonus. Yeah, so nice. like we're gonna get seventy five titanium if we happen to do it, or is that split between the people that do it? No, that's that's if you're the first person to make a hundred dust and stars. Yeah, we're making fifteen right now. So, okay. No, we're making twenty seven. Yeah, we're, we're we're losing some money for upkeep, but we're making twenty seven. So I mean, it's gonna be usually the AI just gets it because they cheat. But yeah. <laughs> I, hopefully they've sort of rebalanced that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I would. You can queue up public partnerships if you want. Uh, All public right. private partnerships. Let's see that. Oh, we only got two turns, and then it looks like we have a ship that's idle still. Yeah, that's gonna probably be your colony ship because it's just sitting there waiting for. No, it's actually our scout. Oh, your scout's idle. Okay, it's got two more turns. So yeah, we you don't, don't have, have another probes. probe yet, right? And this is that's... this is a dead end right now. Yeah. So that's interesting. Um, so should I move about... him back? Click on the tech again. This is an interesting question. We're gonna okay. move, it. but the if you zoom in, zoom in. Okay, Just go down to the bottom triangle a little bit. Okay. Bottom triangle. All right. So there's an engine upgrade, and it's gonna be in the middle. See how there's like little things in the middle. It's like every time you enter a new echelon, okay, you get things. Okay, this is a warp drive, and uh, look at look at them all. Is it this? Th- okay, I'm confused. No, you're 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 in the right place. All right. Yeah, oh, I see. Okay, warp drive support module. I gotcha. Yeah, look at the other one. Nano repair. Okay, box. and then look at the next the next tier. Uh, uncommon curiosities. And I think that's the other one. Hyperion, Hyperion engine. engine. It's actually okay. not faster. It, it says three evasion. points. The other one's three points. I was thinking we could swing our scout ship back to our home planet and then upgrade it. Mm, but we, we would need Hyperion in order to do that, and we don't have any, right? We have five Hyperion, so we could Oh, upgrade. right. We got that uh, yeah. cache of it, didn't we? Okay. I guess so, you. I mean, we could give it Hyperion engines, but it really doesn't matter because it's... You know, what about we com- could this do, is about though, combat, right? right? Uh, yeah, evasion is, com- is a combat thing. Mm-hmm. I was thinking that it would make us move faster, but it's the same, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As that one, yeah, it's the same. Not exciting. All right, never mind. Well, couldn't we bring him back and give him this? What's that? Oh, this is what we already have this on him, right? We I have. I think a... so. You might double check. I mean, or I... is warp drive just the moving off the lines thing? Mo- no, 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 not moving on Starlands. No, it's it's a it's an engine. Click on the ship icon on the top. So design your ships and look. Okay, up here. Yeah. Scout you're using, yeah. The detector. Ah. Uh-huh. And actually go into it? Yeah, just double click. Okay. Check what kind of engine he's got there. He has a string gravity. Yeah, he, so you actually could upgrade that. So you get an engine. extra movement point if we did that. Yeah, you get an extra point. And if you wanted to be even more sneaky, you could add uh, another weapon. So, so can we do engine. this right here? Yeah, but you won't be able to upgrade him when he's outside of your territory. You can change the design anytime you want. Right, but you're not going to actually make that ship change until gotcha. you break. And also, we're probably not going to have enough money anyway because we got to pay to speed up that colony. So right, but you okay. can. I mean, you can go ahead and upgrade the design if you want. All right, and save it. Yeah. So just, give him the warp drive instead of the string of. So at least we have the option. Okay, and then just fly design. 
All right. Mm-hmm. And then, so that. how can we find out that we don't have an upgraded ship? I mean, where do we look on here to see that, okay, this ship uh, isn't it upgraded just, and it, it could upgrade? It changes it to de- Detector 2. I mean, uh, you can make your own names if you want, but if you just upgrade design, it'll say Detector 2. I and then see. if you look at your ship, if you go to your scout and click on it, He's it'll say detector. detector. And it'll also say, if you hover above that little coin icon, just a little bit up, there's like a black bar on top of that box. Yeah. And then to the right, there's like a... Yeah. This here? Yep. Okay, so we would need to move him to a colonized star system and then upgrade him. Yeah, for 42 gold. Okay. So. Should we slide him back that way? Yeah, there's nothing else to do. You you, you don't have any probes and... Okay. So we'll send him back there and he'll get there in back. three turns? Yep. All right. Two turns. And then your, um, do we your colony need... ship... Oh, we're colonizing. Ship, yeah, all right. Yeah, it's, it's gone, I guess. So. Yeah. Man, okay. it's taken a long time to get started with this drone network, but there's not what we can do. All right, All right so we just intern. Turn. Yeah. Cool. A little bit of stuttering there. So we got our there baryonyx go. shielding, and so you should see some research some suit. new scanners you can do, and then uh, yeah, you get your warp drive, and you and you can finally come to Savannah. Your warp drive, like I said. If you see something out, if your probe discovers a planet and there's no connecting, go to it. Right now, it takes freaking forever, but eventually, it'll be you can zip across the whole galaxy. So, gotcha, cool. Okay, so what should we do? Should we do ship movement? Yeah, move your your um yeah your scout homeward. Okay, and, and then there's really take another really turn. nothing else we can we can do right now. We're waiting on we're waiting on things. Okay, we're up to. You've got your public private partnership queued up. Is you're gonna yeah. get a little, probably a little overflow production there. Okay. And the game, the game saves your overflow production, so it's not. A, man, how did it go? Did we lose some production? No, we're just stuck at the same shitty production. Hmm. All right, this, we're about to get a bonus, and we're about to start growing. Hopefully. Okay. Now, so we're gonna go. We're gonna intern now. Yeah, you can intern. Okay. So now we Something have this else planet called. Interesting. You can check out. Um, you can actually see the little ships of. You get out of this into the main screen and yeah i'm sorry i missed i missed look uh, at the past cut off a little bit so what am i, I was just at? saying you can see like if you if you zoom in a little bit mm-hmm. you should be able to see well I, I guess they haven't left yet but you you can see little uh food trucks home planet headed towards your oh i see yeah like they'll be yeah. zipping along the lines yeah. here okay i got They're you. not there right now gotcha but yeah okay. um do we have a probe back yet? We no. should relatively. We should by the time we land. Okay. All right. So we could do maybe the upgrade and a searching. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ones. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, in turn then. Yep. So we're at fifty-five, and we're just behind the bright green guys at fifty-eight. <laughs> so we're actually apparently doing okay early. Yeah, now. it's probably like an extra production or. Something. Right. Yeah, on this difficulty level, they don't cheat. And, uh, too hardcore. You can see a little food ship there. Finally, so okay, we got it started. Yeah, why don't we? Um... All right, we talk about this now. Every faction, if you've ever played Endless Legends, Endless Space, any of the Endless games, you have a faction quest, uh, which is like a, a long story quest that you do, and it actually gives you a bunch of nice rewards. Um, I haven't done the Sofon one in a long time, so I don't know exactly how it's changed okay but we can take a look we've got three options and after you read the flavor text that might influence your decision but okay so we would need to win three battles with with our sofon fleets in order to get this one yeah and we would need to click on it take our exploration fleets and orbit around two systems in a different constellation okay now how do we see what are constellations uh i don't know if there's a like map mode but you can kind of tell they're different groups of stars okay and socialize and raise your relationship with the minor civilization that one's the easiest but what's the reward for that one uh silicon tongued diplomats yeah go down there which 30, gives us minus a 30 30 30 on bribe bribe. and prave that seems that could pretty be, good that could be pretty powerful um check what's the fire free move health bonus movement points vision, vision range. range well that's this is pretty good support module that gives you Extra hit points and extra movement and extra vision. So really good for an exploration. And then uh, that's pretty powerful too. That's a empire-wide 
permanent right. negative 15 cost to ships. That's pretty damn powerful. Except we have to win three battles, which probably isn't going to happen for a good long while, right? <laughs> I mean, we can do that. We can do it at our leisure. Um, I'm not sure. Let me see if I can understand this right. Because a lot of quests, and I'm not sure if this... It will spawn some sort of NPC units, some 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 units that are not affiliated with any faction. So you think just, you think if we click this, it'll it'll actually bring us to battle more quickly than we would normally get into battle? Yeah, well, it's possible that it will spawn some ships okay. somewhere in this like little area we've discovered, and that we'll have to blow them up eventually, and they could cause problems with our mission and stuff. But that I, seems not good. It's not, but that's such a juicy reward. Well, what do you think? What do we have to do for Inspire? We have to orbit around two systems in a different constellation. Yeah. See, there's the gameplay hint there. Use probes to discover a new constellation. Got to get warp drive to get there. Oh, so that means something that's not connected to our group. Of... Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Okay. And then what's the gameplay hint on militarized? Sorry I'm rotating over this. No, no, that's all right. Uh, let's see. So enemy fleets do not have to be eliminated, just defeated. With whatever ships you can find, let's let's be risky, man. Let's be let's be adventurous. Go militarize. That's such a juicy reward. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, do it. All Emperor right. is watching, so we're gonna do. All that. right. So if you see, there's the quest is like pinned. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I think this doesn't mean that they're gonna spawn. Okay. So we're we're okay. This just means at some point in the game. Right, we're going to have to beat some guys. Which is going to happen sure. naturally. Um, sure. So this is this is an incredible reward for them. So I sort wanna... of suspect that all of those would happen naturally. It's just that yeah. this is going to like drive us yeah. in the right direction, I guess. It's usually it the be... second or third chapter that's like... You have to actually go out of your way to do it. Usually the first chapter or two just sort of happens. But mm, okay. we should prioritize this because that's, that's huge. I mean, 15% off for the rest of the game. Sure, sure. Um, right, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So, so should we do finished. ship movement? You can do that, yeah. Your scout should return home, so we want to deal with the scout, I guess. Okay, so we come in here, and what do we do to upgrade him? Do we To have upgrade to... him, you can just... Uh, oh, wait, well, hang on. Can't we just go back and grab yeah, him? Yeah, you click on him, click here? and then just click upgrade. Wait, wait a sec, don't... <laughs> no, I already did it. <laughs> it's okay. Oops. We, we, should, we had enough money to... Uh, but, I mean, this is equally important. I'm sorry, enough money to what? Upgrade the colony? Yeah, well, the colony, if you spend 150 gold on the colony, you're right. colonize in half the time. But we'll, we'll get that. Um, is there a way to go back? Is there a way to undo something you've done? No, nah, not that. But it's not. I mean, this is just... What do we... We added a weapon to it, right? Uh, so, no, we sped it up by by one move. Did we? Oh, yeah. yeah, we did. Okay, so that's... So we can push it out this way. and maybe That's what we'll I'm saying. That's what battles. I want to do. Although, right now, it might be better to scan one of our anomalies. The anomalies, yeah. Okay, well, let's go check them out, then. So, we got our guy here, yeah. and we could pick definitely one of these. The, definitely the atoll. Okay, because that's where we're going to go. That's where right. we're going as soon as we can. All right. Life for me. So, do did we not, not get that right Oh, away? no, no, sorry. <laughs> we did it wrong again. Can't oh. do it from inside this screen. Cancel it. It's on the build queue. Oh, I see. You have to okay. do it from the yeah. You have to do it from the like do strategic the ship. Yeah, screen. there you go. Okay. It's the little yeah this question guy. mark. And that's gonna take us in and let us do it. Yeah, this is the yeah. thing we want, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we right, find? We blue got? cap. Oh, this is excellent, man. We're gonna have tons of blue cap. That's great. So now on this planet, then we have Hyperium and blue cap. Yeah. So when you colonize it, you'll start getting blue. Great. Okay. And it also makes the planet stats better, as you can see, like extra money, yeah. extra food. Awesome. So we want that planet really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can start on it. We're going to start on it. What next turn? Is that right? Am I remembering that? Uh, oh no, we took it off. Didn't partnerships. We, we took and it we off. Should, and we should probably do cerebral network. And then we should probably colonize because we need a, a an extra pop or two before, you know. Well, now, but this would give us more food to grow more quickly, and it would give us more manufacturing, so wouldn't that make the construction yeah, of these things it should easier? Just, it should just move, you, you would probably just move all your citizens over to the atoll to get there. Just uh, just move everybody, huh? Yeah, I mean, you can queue it up. It's going to be like six or seven turns, so I don't think the small... It it's only nine. four turns now. It's only four we'll turns to it. 
you know, we're we're gonna switch to. If we get this this tech building, we're getting thirty t or thirty tech, twenty tech, and then another thirty when we call. So it's pretty huge, and we'll be able to get everything we need. Let's do the tech first. That's the gonna tech. be such a so get rid yeah. of this. You can leave it there, but yeah, public private partnerships is what we want. It's sure. expensive and it's taking a long time, but no problem. Okay, we need well, that extra going. tech. All right. We have an and idle then, ship um, still. But we yeah, can't do so, anything else with him. Can't, can't, well, well, can we, we do another anomaly? He's got moves. He's got moves now. Maybe he could do another anomaly. He can. Or you could save the probe. Or um, see, You see how Rigel is like yeah. sort of bl blinking? Yeah. That means there's an anomaly there too. So This guy up here? Yeah. Curiosity count. Um, well, which do you, what do you think we should do? Should we head on um, there? Or should I'm we not use super our interested. Here? Well, I'm not super interested on... You know, by by the time you get there, you might have a back. That's what I was going to think. Because wouldn't the probes regenerate maybe by the time? Oh, they do. Hover over your probe; it, it'll tell you like, because different probes have different regeneration rates. Two. Cooldown is two, so. So they, yeah, that should get us there. It'll take yeah, us two turns. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. So, so go we should ahead. go and do one. Yeah, probably so. Okay, which one um, do you think? The Savannah, definitely Savannah, because we can call it. Does it that, right? Yeah, does it's going to come later. So... Sometimes this can be yeah. So this is Ooh, excellent. We got That's what I was about to say. Yes. Sometimes like scanning things is really important because sometimes you get uh, you know better weapons that can give you a huge early advantage. And this is one of those cases. 18 damage. I think the normal torpedoes. If you want to compare, you can go into the um, design. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that because I want to see what we design got. So this will help us win that battle. We need to win. On to, yeah, anything. And if you just click sort by weapons and. Yeah, and then show obsolete modules on the right. There's a little show obsolete yeah, little modules. Switch. Turn that off. Yeah. So I guess looking at the two different missiles, not yes. that one. The... So we have high eye slugs right now, right? So it's yeah. five DPS, five flak it's... efficiency. Yeah, but you got a you got the missile thing. So this is what right. you would start with. I basic ion torpedoes was the okay. one that you, on the upper, this guy upper here. right. Yeah, yeah. That's eleven damage. Is the normal base. Versus and, 18. and you got you found one that's that's 18. So okay, pretty good. Yeah, and awesome. we also have a new slot, right? Was this there before? We have an we have an empty slot. It was there before, but I mean, once the pirates come, you'd be you'd. Is your scout even still? You, you haven't moved your scout yet, have I you? I haven't. Yeah, can we go ahead and upgrade it? Yeah, we could do it. It's going to delay the colony a bit more, but it would be nice to have a strong early ship. Yeah. So how, fusion how torpedoes. Much is that cost? Click on it. Uh, it's going to cost you, 34. You can drag it over. I mean, in money. Like if you drag it over there. Oh, I see. Not there. Onto the little sword. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No problem. 68 to upgrade. Which is, and an upkeep of 6. But look, it makes your ship pretty strong. 47, 56. Yeah. So that's a pretty strong early ship, capable of defending from some pirates. Should I guess. If it? It, I guess, yeah. If it was me. I mean, you can go ahead and upgrade the design without spending any money, and then right. decide. We can decide. But we'd have to bring him back here again in order to upgrade him, right? Or uh, can or we upgrade can, him out here? Yeah, we can upgrade him right now. No, well, yeah, we could upgrade him out there once that planet becomes a colony. Maybe but the only the thing, thing is, fifty gold. We need one hundred fifty gold. Click on your colony to see where it's at. Yeah, that should have gone down, right? Oh no, it's still one hundred twenty-six turns. So you got to get 300 food, and you're getting shipments. The next ship contains... You see this information on the left? Yeah. Next ship contains 27 food, and... I don't know why you've only got one automated ship run. So you can... So they sort of change this around, but you can, like, assign different planets to go there. And also, it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, you want to spend that. That's going to just double your food. Automatic. Okay. Well, how about this then? Why don't we Let's... just why don't we just drag the scout, let him go explore. If his yeah. probes regenerate, we'll explore that anomaly, and then hopefully by the time we get out here, we'll be upgrading this to a real colony, and then <laughs> you'll we can be closer. Him. Yeah, you'll be closer. Probably, probably still gonna be twelve turns, but yeah. Sure. Okay. Go. Yeah. Head to Rigel, I'd say. Okay. So I just right click there and send yep. him on his way. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be three turns before he gets there. Okay. So one more turn, maybe, and then. Yep. Yep. Okay. Making progress. What turn is it? I can't see the turn number. It is turn number six. Okay, so we haven't met any uh, minor sieves, which is yeah. 
good and bad. Minor civs, actually, this is where the pirates spawn now. Oh, okay. So it used to be, I think, sp pirates just spawned everywhere, but now they spawn. I'm pretty sure they only spawn on minor civs okay. systems. So the fact that we don't see any means there's no pirates around, but it also means we can't exploit because uh, it's the minor civs are really good to exploit now. They've right. beefed them up. Like you get a lot of science, gold, and manpower and stuff. Yeah. Well, so, when I was playing United Empires, I took over somebody that was like a combat uh, species, and they they were really pretty awesome. They can even provide you ships and stuff now. It's really cool. Oh, okay. All right. I've done it. Uh, so I've I've upgraded updated the ship there. Is there anything to do besides that? Do nope, we need to... I think we're, I think let's we're just, good. Let's just go look at this screen over here. How's our guy doing? He's almost got his uh, experience. Yeah, he should be. <laughs> He's leveling up kind of slow. I'm pretty sure they did that. Nerf that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we got 15 turns till a new pop comes around. Uh, we are at 136. That's because we're sending all of our food away. So we're only going to get to 149 next turn. Yeah, it will be one more turn before we do it. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Some of these early turns can be a little bit slow. Really what we need is another scout. So we've done xenolinguistics, and now we had, we got a new technology to work with, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. let's go ahead and look and see what we want. There are so many different directions you can go here, but... Um... Upgrading this Hyperion would give us these yeah, things it's drives, probably, right? Yeah, it's probably the smart thing to do. That and drive is, is not is, is not really important, but right. I, it, the, the earlier you start mining the Hyperion, the more you're going to have. Right, and then also this other technology here, Interplanetary Transport Network, gives us a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of manufacturing on planets with strategic deposits, which... It'll give you four per pop. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, your main planet has Hyperion, right? Yeah. Oh, somebody got it though already. It was it was really? at fifty. Yeah. I mean that's a that's a pretty core tech, so you could get that. Um there's no other planets we want to colonize right now. So no, we don't, don't need to colonize so. anything from the bottom. The right the left side is sort of um the it's only thing I would agribus yeah, is a good that's one, right? Happiness and well, we don't really need and we don't really well, but need... it, this is, it gives us this Xeno synergy, which lets us do diplomacy with yeah. Minor civilizations. Yeah, we haven't met any yet, so <laughs> true, true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, the only other thing would be like some of the food buildings. Uh, like... Those, those are some food buildings that are pretty useful. Uh huh. That would give us plus fifteen food on cold. Yeah, the longer we wait, the more time it's going to take. We should really be taking advantage of the fact that we can do t Tier 2 already. So there's another Tier 2, if you scoot up a little bit, that efficient shielding. Yeah. That's what allows us to build our first ships. First real military ships. Gives yeah. us new hull designs, right? We haven't encountered any threat threatening things yet. Yeah. Um, pirates will start to show up before too long, but... That's something to, to think about. We might want to just grab that. I don't know. We, we might want to grab that. Plasma Metallurgy is good. It seems um, like it, it seems to me like getting the food in place would help our pop yeah, grow. Yeah, that building. Look at how much grow. that look at how much that building costs though. Ooh, seven hundred eighty. Yeah, and we're right. we're we're doing thirty six right now. Although so. the farms is only two eighty. Yeah, that's a good building to have. So if we wanted to grab that. That would be. F okay, what do you think? Should we do? Let's do or? plasma and then cue that one next. Okay, that's we'll only seven turns. Yeah, we'll reevaluate after that. All right, objective achieved. Be the first to research ten curiosities. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. Yeah, is that the Terrans? Uh, no, you don't. It's unknown. Oh, okay. We just we don't know yet. You don't know who it is. Okay. Uh, anything else to do? Oh, yeah. We got ships to move, don't we? Yeah. Let's uh, make those. Guys of, it looks go. like your hero leveled up too. Oh, did he? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So scan, um, scan whatever. Yeah, the tiny arid planet. So we can't do this one, huh? No, this is going to be a level three expedition. You only have uh, level okay. two tech right now. Okay. And so. can we do? We can do this from here, right? Yeah. Okay. Should be. You sh I think you've got one probe. Which one should we go for? The life form or hey. luxury hey. deposit? Possibly. We don't care about deposits here right now okay. because we're not colonizing it right now. But we might get like a payout, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. It says it's low chance loot. Yeah. What is the other one? What's the other one's low chance? Uh, is loot and luxury research. Yeah, research I don't think it really it. matters, man. It's just let's just go for the anomaly, RNG man. either way. Oh, we did get something. We got transvine. Hey, you got a few transvine. 
five transpine doesn't really help you at all, but it's okay. good to know it's there. It's a good, useful luxury resource. Nice. Um, all right. And now so, yeah. we can move this guy some more. Oh, there's one of our little ships, right? Uh huh. He's going to bring food to Bellatrix. Yeah, I'd move him to Bellatrix and then, you know, be ready to start exploring northward. Okay. And we're at and... 149, so we can't upgrade that colony until next <laughs> Not turn. Not until next turn. Should we, uh, should we end it here and. Well, let's uh, let's upgrade your hero first. Oh yeah, He's yeah, right. On the right side, on the right hero side, guy. there's a little button that'll let you jump to him. Oh, over here. Yeah. Got it. So, so I'd give him. I'd just go skills? straight for assigned skills and give him that plus science boost. This one here. Yeah. Oh no, uh, this one. Okay. So apply Great. skills. Yeah, yeah, and then um, you can check your science tree and see if that seven turns went to. Went to oh, six, yeah. poss possibly. Okay. Uh, where is? Oh, I thought it would show it over here, but it doesn't. Oh, uh, we now it's just go up three. To, yeah, click, right click on it. Well, I'm talking about the second one. Was said seven. Six. Now it says now it says six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that did make it a little easier. Yeah. The last thing you can look at is if you want, it just gives you gave you a notification that you got some free stuff when you leveled up the tier. Was that here? Yeah. You didn't actually get it. Sometimes you get stuff. Like oh, okay. there are some texts that are just unlocked when you get next to you. Right. All this is saying is, oh, you have access to to do this quest now if you right. want. Right. So. I see our dust production has actually gone down from like twenty seven to twenty two. Has it actually gone down, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure is. it was showing twenty seven. Is this it's is about probably production, right? because you up upgraded your. Oh, did you up you upgraded your scout right? So that's probably. Yeah. Oh. More okay. the better ships cost more money per turn. Anyway. Gotcha. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it has it has a uh, an upkeep cost of like six or something. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I think that's a good stopping point there. We've yeah, done absolutely. Some things actually. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time around. Hopefully, sure. we'll get some better audio quality figured out. We will try to do that. I'll see you guys soon. See ya.